everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really awesome salad that you may never have even thought of making. It's super fast, it's super easy, it takes like two ingredients and some seasoning, okay? Cucumber and apple. This is cucumber apple salad. Now I just picked this apple off my tree, I'm not mad at that. How awesome is that? I have a nice Granny Smith. And these cucumbers I'm getting out of the garden, tons of them, so I've got lots of recipes for you guys. Exciting new things every day. So what I'm going to do first things first is, I usually like to keep the peeling on my um, fruits and vegetables as much as I can, but I find that some of these cucumbers that I have out of my garden have very thick skin, so I don't, I'm not um, keeping it. I'm going to uh, peel most of it off. Now if it leaves a couple little tiny shreds of green, then that's cool, I'm not mad at that. But um, if you have nice skin on your cucumber, make sure that you uh, keep the, the peelings on as much as you can or whatever kind of vegetable because that's where most of the nutrients, well not most, but a lot of the nutrients are, okay? You're just throwing it away. The important things that you should be eating are sitting right there in the peels that you discard, okay? Um, also, if you do happen to peel your stuff, your dogs, some dogs, my dogs, like peelings, some peelings. So if they are uh, veggies or fruit that are uh, safe for dogs like cucumber, then you're good to go. I'm going to chop off the ends. Old, old wives tale, I tell you guys this every time. Chop off the end and rub it on the end. Otherwise it gets bitter. Someone told me that one time and I've been doing it ever since and I don't know if it works or not, but there you go. That's what I do. So here we go. I'm just going to slice these up into nice medallions. There goes one. The dogs are happy. Next, I'm going to peel my apple as well. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slice it into slices, cut it in half, cut it into quarters, and then cut it again into eighths. Next, take your paring knife and we're going to cut that stem out, any seeds that are in the center and that hard stuff in the middle that you encases the seeds that you don't want to eat. Just going to use your paring knife and get that out, okay? Now when you're working with apple, make sure you're working very quickly because it oxidizes very fast, meaning it's going to turn brown. You know how that goes. Apples turn brown when they sit out, right? So you want to work very quickly because then you want to get some nice acid on them. We're going to use a vinegar to do that and that's going to keep them from turning really brown, okay? Okay, now I've got these beautiful pieces. Now I'm just going to slice them into chunks. Maybe two or, th or three or four per each slice. Gorgeous. Look how cool that looks because they're the same color. The cucumber and the Granny Smith apples are pretty much the exact same color. You can't tell. But you're going to get a flavor explosion when you go and try this. Okay. Next thing's next. I'm going to add some pepper. So I'm going to really finely grind up some black pepper when I you do cucumbers. Sometimes I like the chunky, but not everyone in my household likes chunky on the cucumbers. Picky, picky. Anyhow, I'm going to really finely grind them up. I'm going to use about five peppercorns, I guess, and we'll finely grind them up. I'm using black camp pot peppercorns today. You can use whatever kind of peppercorns you want, but I just have these and I like them. They have a very beautiful flavor. They come from Cambodia, and this is what they look like. They come in little pouches like this. And uh, you can find that online at campot-pepper.asia. Okay, so that's all ground up onto my gorgeous fruit and veggie. Okay, so we're gonna keep with some cool flavors now. I'm going to put a little bit of this vinegar on just because I don't want those apples to change color. We're doing well. I'm gonna add maybe, let's see teaspoon and a half of vinegar. This is a Vilux pear vinegar. You can find that there at uh, Qualifirst Foods. That's where I got mine, qualifirst.com. And that comes from France. It's a pear infused, pear flavored vinegar. Gorgeous. This is going to be really nice with this kind of cucumber and apple flavor, okay? Next, I'm going to drizzle some really nice finishing olive oil. It's an extra virgin olive oil maybe a tablespoon or so. This comes from um, an estate in Italy. This is Castellanotti. That's what it looks like. And this is their Arbequina variety. They also have a, I'm sorry, this is not from Italy, it's from Spain. They also have a uh, peat wall variety. They have a slightly different flavor. This one's a little bit more bitter and pungent and olivey. This one's a little bit more mild, okay? So I'm using the more mild one today with my cucumbers, because cucumber is kind of a mild flavor as well, right? 
So I'm just gonna toss this up. We're gonna put some cool salt on. Now, I'm gonna put the salt on later because I'm not ready to eat yet. If you put your salt on now and then you let it just sit all day, what's gonna happen is, well not all day, I'm just gonna leave it sitting for maybe an hour in the fridge. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna leach my water out of my cucumber and my apple and I'm gonna have soggy cucumbers, limp, limpy cucumbers and apple and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna try a little bit with some salt here for you though. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of salt on and I'm gonna try this for you. Mm, piece of apple, piece of cucumber. Mm. Mm. What a nice, refreshing combination. Mm. A little bit of tart sweetness with the green apple. Mm. And that little bit of pear vinegar is that just je ne sais quoi, you don't know. Right? The olive oil is even nice on it. You can actually taste the flavor of the olive oil, which is fantastic because it's a super high quality olive oil, right? Anyhow, that's a really cool side dish. It's super fast. You may not have thought of putting apple with your salad or even especially with just cucumber, um, but it holds its own and it's a great little salad. I think everyone will like it. All right, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly and my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.